Now to an attack on a Lyft driver, this one right here. He called police on a customer who he says started harassing him at first and then got violent. As News 4's Miles Miller shows us, police are now working to track her down. Hey, hey. Cameras rolling inside this Lyft vehicle as a passenger attacks the driver. It happened on Parsons Boulevard two weeks ago, and he's speaking exclusively to News 4. I picked up this right two blocks away, and uh, then she wanted to make a stop. So at the stop, she got really violent. She started cursing me, and um, I ended up canceling the ride. She wouldn't leave. So I, while I was on the nine uh, on, on the phone getting help from 911, she tried to snatch my phone. When he tried to stop her, he was bitten. The bite mark growing in size over two weeks. I still feel the pain. I feel there's a little lump there. The swelling was <clears throat> quite a bit. And uh, I took painkillers for two weeks, and it's almost two weeks now. Nadim ran away from the irate passenger, abandoning the car. No, come to the car right now. This man just touched me. The woman calling her boyfriend to come help, but he realizes there's cameras inside and doesn't want to get involved. She jumps to the back of the car, admitting she wants to steal the car. I'm on the job car. Where am I bed? You said bro. Before disconnecting the camera. Nadim says he's frightened to get behind the wheel. People are a lot more aggressive and uh, their physical attacks, verbal attacks. Two weeks after the attack. I was told that the case has been closed. News 4 obtained this police report showing the case was closed and no canvas was conducted by the responding officers. NYPD has refused to pursue the case. He called police today for an update and when News 4 got involved, detectives amended the report reopening the case. Neither the TLC nor Lyft responded to News 4's request for comment, but we do know detectives have now been assigned to this case. It's been reopened, and they've met with the driver. At police headquarters, I'm Miles Miller, News 4 New York.